Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Today, we are going to teach you how to create recovery partition in Windows 10. Here we go. Part one: Create recovery partition with Building Tool. Part two: Create recovery partition with the Isis Tool. Microsoft says. Windows 10 no longer needs to create a separate recovery image. If user's computer goes down, they can use "Reset this PC" to restore Windows 10 system. It seems that you don't need to create a recovery partition in Windows 10. In fact, Windows 10 reset function only restores systems to factory settings. It means Windows 10 system will be reinstalled. All the softwares users added will be disappeared. Therefore, it's better for users to create a custom recovery partition of Windows 10 in case they mistakenly delete the original recovery partition or need to do system upgrade and reinstall. You may wonder how to create recovery partition of Windows 10. In this video, I will show you two ways to create it. Please keep watching. The first way is to use recovery drive option. To create a recovery drive in Windows 10 with a USB drive, it requires a USB drive at least 512 megabytes in size. If your computer is 64 bit, the drive should be at least 16 gigabytes. Know that all the data on the USB drive will be deleted during this process. Place backup files on USB drive if there are any important items. Now let's see the full guidance. Connect the USB drive to your computer, and make sure it can be detected. Type "recovery drive" into the search box, and select "create a recovery drive" in the listed results. In the pop-out window, check the option "backup system files to the recovery drive," and click Next. Then select the USB drive connected before. And click Next to continue. Click Create to begin creating the recovery drive. After the creation process completes, you can restore system easily and quickly using Recover from the Drive option. Just follow the steps below. Boot from the Windows 10 Recovery USB drive. Go to Troubleshoot option. Select Recover from the Drive. It will start preparing the recovery process. Then you will be asked to select the reset option. Just remove my files, or clean the drive fully. After that, confirm all the changes and click Recover to start this process. Now let's keep watching to see the second way. The second way is to use OneKey System Backup with the Isis tool, Alme OneKey Recovery, to create a recovery partition and a system backup. Thus. Your computer will be exactly the same as previous after cloning, and it is suitable for all brands of computers. In addition, it allows you to add boot menu on your computer and specify a key to access it, A or F11, for example. Thus, you don't need to create a bootable USB separately. Just Google Alme One Key Recovery, download and install it. Open Alme One Key Recovery and click One Key System Backup. Select Backup System to Alme One Key Recovery Partition. If your computer does not have enough space to hold everything on the system partition, you could choose Backup System to Other Location and click Next. Click Advanced to preview the partition's layout, and then click Start Backup after confirming. Wait until the creation process ends. Follow the steps below to recover your system. Select One Key System Recovery. If your computer can't boot. You can press F11 or A to access the software, 
and restore system back. Choose Restore System by using the image file in Alme Wanky Recovery Partition. Click Next. Click Start Restore after confirming. It's essential to create a recovery partition in Windows 10, which can help you to repair your computer when accidents happen. Two ways are provided in this video. Of course, Alme Wanky Recovery is simple, safe, and more flexible. Hope this video can help you out. Want to know more about Aome? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.